What could the silk mills of Patterson, New Jersey, have in common with the ancient French art of lace making? Well, New Jersey and France shared the spotlight at this summer's Festival of American Folk Life, the Smithsonian's annual crowd pleaser on the National Mall in Washington. The Garden State's area featured a garden, of course. My garden doesn't look like this. A close-up look at how to build a fishing boat and a miniature boardwalk where you could settle down and take in the sights. But one sight to wake you up again was the silk loom from Patterson. Once the center of the North American silk industry, Patterson is proud of its highly skilled weavers, many of whose ancestors immigrated from the silk centers of Europe. In the French section, the focus was on handcrafts, like the lace making and basket weaving. It takes Emile Boublin 10 hours to make a basket, a craft he learned from his father. The festival also paid tribute to this year's National Heritage Fellowship winners, 16 traditional artists who were singled out by the National Endowment for the Arts for their contributions to American culture. Don Rafael Cepeda is known as the Patriarch of the Bamba in Puerto Rico. It's a style of music that grew out of the African slave experience, and Cepeda, his wife, three daughters, and eight sons keep it alive today. Stanley Hicks from North Carolina is another fellowship winner. He handcrafts his dulcimers from the walnut and cherry trees that grow on his mountain farm. And for his banjo heads, he uses groundhog hide. Hey, hey. Here at the Smithsonian, I'm Ann Carroll.